Hello, I want to show you how you can add translations to the Knit Editor project. The Knit Editor is an editor for knitting patterns and is able to knit with the IA pack. So, and now I'm interested in showing you how you can add a new translation and a new language to this project. So, first of all, you give, go to the website which is https://github.com/slash slash knit editor. Yeah. And then you fork the project in order to get your own copy of the project. Therefore, you need to log in. Sign in. So I need to do a fork. There we have the fork, and now we can clone or download it, for example, so we can clone it with git, we can open it in desktop, or we can download a zip file of the content, so what I will do is now use HTTPS and clone it. I'll show you also how you can download it with a knit file. So this is the whole URL with a zip file. Okay, now we've downloaded it. Let's go to the demo directory. So now here you have the downloaded the downloaded zip file from from Firefox from here. There you have what is in the zip file, and there you have the repository. And if you look inside, into the Snit editor, there's a lot of files. Into this, there are a lot of files too, and these are the same files. So I will edit them here, the Knit editor. So now we're in the Knit editor project. There is the Python repository. There's the local localization part, and here are the translations. And you can see that there's German and English. And there are some languages that one can add. So, now I want to show you how to add the Russian language. So, first of all, for that, I will create a new folder called Ru. Then, have a look. There's the LC messages folder inside the English folder. I'll create that here too. New folder. So, and let's have a look what's in the English one. There we have these two files, maybe we can copy them. So, actually we only need the PO file. Uh, copy. So, now I have downloaded a software called PO Edit. You can get it from the download site httpspoedit.net down slash download. There you can download it and install it. And I will use the software to yeah translate this file. Double click. So here yeah there are already things inside. Maybe we can change it. Properties. Language Russian So and now we need to click okay, translation control K and now we can add Translations to it. So, for example, yes, it's and that. It's net. And you can press Control Enter to get to the new translation. So, these were two translations, and that shall be enough for now to show what we can do with it. So, yeah, now we have this PO file over here, the Russian PO. 
we need to save it as a MO file in the same folder. Now we have the MO file here too. And now we can do two things. Either we have Either we use git or the git desktop or, or the, just the files, then we can create a new commit and upload them. Okay. We are in the editor. Localization. Translations. Now we need to create these folders. So we create a new create a file. It is safe to create a .git ignore file, which is empty, just to create the folder. So now we're in this folder and we can upload files, drag and drop them. Edit the Russian translations. With the changes, they are there. So, new editor, localization, translations, this the Russian files. Good. What we can do now is I can pull to verify the changes and. The knit editor. There it is. We can in the menu choose language and the Russian language appears. But the Russian language is not translated yet. In order to translate the Russian language, we need to edit the languages the PO file. There, there it is. We can open it with an editor dot notepad plus plus, and I can open this file. And there we have the translations. Now I can add the Russian language. So, and we added the Russian. Language. That's fine. Get the translation and add a new translation. Okay, now it is successfully saved. You can open it again. It's working. You can edit it with no plus plus plus. And now we save this file as mo file again because these are the files that are used by the software not the po files but the compiled mo files so again we can open the languages we can upload files we can drag and drop them over Edit Russian language. We now have the translations and now we can create a pull request. We again add our copy of the NIT editor. We create a pull request to Forsage NIT editor. We create a pull request. So we can describe the pull request. Now somebody else like Myself can log in. There, I can see 
the pull request and now I can see the status of the pull request for example here the checks are running and when the checks are running I can merge the pull request so that's all now I've shown you how you can fork the project download it add new translations to the project and also how you create a pull request to, so these pull, uh, changes can be merged into the master branch into the real net editor